In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere and fillest all things, treasury, blessings, and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Eternal Father, since thou hast given me for my inheritance the adorable face of thy divine Son, I offer that face to thee, and I beg thee, in exchange for this coin of infinite value, to forget the ingratitude of those souls who are consecrated to thee, and to pardon all poor sinners. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. O cosmic brother of all radiance and vibration, soften the ground of our being and carve out a space within us where your presence can abide. Fill us with your creativity so that we may be empowered to bear the fruit of your mission. Let each of our actions bear fruit in accordance with our truest desires that you set in our hearts. Endow us with the wisdom to produce and share what each being needs to grow and flourish. Untie the tangled threads of destiny that bind us as we release others from the tanglements of past mistakes. Do not let us be seduced by that which will divert us from our true purpose, but illuminate the opportunities of the present moment. For you are the ground and the fruitful vision, the birth, the power and fulfillment, as all is gathered and made whole once again. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It is truly meet to bless you, O Theotokos, ever blessed and most pure, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without the farmer, you gave birth to God the word. True Theotokos, we magnify you. Now whenever and ever unto ages of ages, amen. O glorious virgin and martyr, beloved of God, Saint Philomena, I rejoice with thee in the power which God gave thee for the glory of his name, for the edification of his church, and to reward the merits of thy life and death. I rejoice to see thee so great, so pure, so generous, so faithful to our King and to his gospel, and so splendidly rewarded in heaven and on earth, attracted by thy example to the practice of solid virtue, full of hope at the sight of thy recompense granted to thy merits. I resolve to follow thee in avoiding all evil and in fully obeying what God commands. Help me, O great saint, by thy powerful intercession. Obtain for me particularly a purity inviolable forever, a strength of soul always invincible in every kind of assault, a generosity which denies no sacrifice to God, and a love as strong as death for the faith of our King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Amen. Saints, Feasts, and Readings for August the 23rd, 2023. Saints and Feasts, Apodosis of the Dormition of Our Most Holy Lady, the Theotokos and Ever-Virgin Mary, Our Holy Father, Arenaeus, <laughs> Bishop of Lyons, Lupus the Martyr, Our Righteous Father, Nicholas of Silkeleon, Our Holy Father, Kalinikos, Patriarch of Constantinople, Haralambos of Calvani, 38 Martyrs of Thrice, Our Holy Father Arenos, Bishop of Sirmium, Strict Fast. Epistle Reading, Philippians 2, 5-11 through 11. Brethren, have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equal did not count count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore, 
God has highly exalted him and bestowed him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God, the father. Gospel reading Luke 10, 38 through 42, 11, 27 and 28. At that time, Jesus entered a village and a woman called Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving and she went to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve you alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things. One thing is needful. Mary has chosen the good portion, which shall not be taken away from her. As he said this, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that you sucked. But he said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The earth is the Lord's in all its fullness the world and whose and those who dwell therein for he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters who may ascend into the hill of the lord or who may stand in his holy place he who has a clean ha- he who has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul to an idol nor sworn deceitfully he shall receive his blessing from the lord and righteousness from the god of his salvation this is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, Selah. Lift up your hands, O ye gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your hands, O ye gates, lift up you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory, Selah. To glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Amen.